Good day guys, being here. Um, today let's model these. Okay, so touch ports, touch ports. Yep. Okay, so let's start. So um, uh, actually let's uh, let me just close that. So we we'll start uh, a new family. So general model adaptive. Okay, so and then place first. Let's place a point draw on world plan and place it anywhere here. And then we're going to play, uh, change, uh, make this point adaptive. And then place another point, draw a word plan, set word plan, pick the horizontal word plan of this point, and place it on the point. So then select this point, drag it up. And so we're going to select these two points and make a, uh, make a spline and make a reference line. So we're going to use this spline to place uh, more points. Okay, so play. Let's do it. More another point. Draw on, draw on face and place it on this reference line. And then um, place another point. Draw on word plan. Set word plan. Pick the vertical word plan of this point. So use tab key. Okay, so and then place it on the point. And then select this point and drag it this way. So so you will see this is an uh, offset. Okay, so offset from this point. So now before we go to a little bit too far, I'm just going to roughly do a sketch and show you uh, how we're going to do it. So, okay, so let, let me just do a new one. So if I do this screenshot, so this is the base point. Okay, so we're going to create a point offset from this point to here. And this point will be, so if I can, create another three so this one will be one uh, the end point of you know one maybe this point and then we need another one another one another one and another one on the top so we need uh we need one here one roughly here and another one roughly here okay and then uh so if I connect this to this, this to this, and this to this, so the angle, th these angles are all 120 degrees. And then if I connect this one, connect this one, and connect this one, these three edges, uh, the length of them are all, uh, uh, let's say x, x, and x. Okay. And then so, and then we will have another point here. So on the top, and connect onto the if I connect this point to this, so if I connect this to here, connect this to here, and also connect this to the point at the back, all these edges, all this one, this one, and this one, they're all X. Okay, so all the all these edges should be the same length. So if we go back here, so uh, if we find one, so so the point from this point to this point, from this point to this point, from this point to the point at the back, should be uh, should all be the same. So okay. So now if I if I uh, let's just uh, so this point. So currently we have this x and the offset we need to work out what this one is okay so if i look from the top okay so if we look from the top and uh, it will be a, a triangular shape with all equal so equal edge equal edge and the point this point will be in the middle so and then if i connect this one to here so it will be this one and then if i and because this one, this angle will be uh, 60 degree, so this is 30 degree. So if I connect this to here, and I know this because this one is x, so this will be half of the x. Okay, and also because this this angle is 30 degree, um, we can work out this uh, is. Uh, Uh, 30 degrees so it will be uh, le let's work out this one first okay so this one this one this one equals uh, this one divided by square root 
So it will be a half x divided by 2 divided by square root 3. So which means times 3 and equals 6. So square root 3 divided by 6 times 6. So this is this. Oh, sorry, this is this. And because 30 degrees, so this is double of this. So this one equals. Okay, so now we know that uh, if, if I offset this point by this, so we can find this point. Okay, so now let's let's do it. So first, I want to create a x. Okay, so x will be the length of the a edge. Okay, so um, type is fine. Okay, so I'll just type in a number, maybe three meter, and okay, and then I'll select this point. So because we have this offset, so I'll create a new parameter. Let's call it y and type as well okay and okay and then go to family types and then i'll just type in so uh, what's the formula so square root three so sqrt three divided by three times x so this is formula so apply and okay so now i just need to select these two so this is a Base point and this is uh, the actual the, the point for for the, the the end of the triangular shape. So CC and then select this point, pick new host again. CC and select this point, pick new host. So now I just select need to select this one. Top I ro rotate it by 120 degree. Select this one, rotate it by 240 degree. So now we have one, two, three three points okay so then we can select all these three points type in zero and okay so they will all go to the point one so now we have what we have all one two three points and then we just need to work out this one so for this one if you look at so if we uh i'll just draw another one so see this edge so this edge and also we have so if i this one go vertical go up and connect this to this we know this equals x okay so this is x so this this edge equals uh we know that it's uh div three and then because this is a right angle so we can work out this one so this equals square root of x square minus this case okay, so square of this then it will be uh, nine so it will be sorry it will be three okay so one third of x square equals three two third square square root so it will be uh square so square root six divided by three times x x okay so no square so this is the formula for if i need an offset from this point to top so now go back to here so select this point so see this offset let's create a new parameter let's call it z or z okay and okay and then go to family types so we just need to type in sqrt square root 6 divided by uh, divided by what's the formula 3 divided by 3 times x and apply and okay so now if we so now we know that if we connect all these points uh, connect all these points the the length uh, of those reference lines uh, or lines be the same but we don't need that because we don't need to create those we, we we need to create find a point in here on on this reference line so and let's have a look where this point is okay so um so which means the point will be 
uh, here so on this reference line on this vertical reference line so actually so it will be the same so if you imagine you look at this um, if I connect this one it's it will be imagine this is the chunk or maybe maybe I'll connect this one so it's easier if I connect this one so it will be the same so imagine this point is this point okay and then it offsets it go up to at this location so it will be the same uh, relative to to this one so this is vertical the, this point sitting here it will be exactly the same uh, on relative to this point sitting on this uh, reference line so um, yeah we can work this out so because this one in this triangle shape so because this is a um, can't remember the name of the triangular triangular so the triangle triangle with a equal size and then this is double of this one and also th because this one equals this one which means this this one is half of this one or this one is one third of this the whole uh, reference line so um, okay so this one is one third and then this is two third so now we can just simply just place a point draw on face and then place it on this reference line and then select it so you will see this uh, little arrows which means it, it's beginning from here so starting from this point and then here we can just type in equals one third and it will sit there always in this point one third of this the total length okay so now we can select these points create a spline and this will be the reference line we place that um, uh, if we call that legs so yeah and then we just create all this reference line and also you, you can just create another reference line so we can instead of have you know this you can have another one here and then um, and then we can just select the point draw on face place it here reference circle draw on word plan set word plan pick this word plan of on this point and draw a circle create a radius so we can create and create let's create a let's call it r1 okay so radius one and okay and copy everything here so point circle and a, a dimension cc select the point create uh, pick pick your host and then this let's call it r2 and sorry r2 okay so now we can select this cc and then uh, maybe just cc another two another two times okay so r1 pick new host place it here r1 pick new host place it here r1 pick new host place so be careful so you will see this highlight the, the whole the longer the long reference line so we just need to tab so it's on sitting uh, make sure it's uh it's play it's placed on the shorter one so this one now r2 uh, maybe r1 will be the one close to the end so r2 will be the one close to the middle r2 pick new host tab and pick new host here and pick new host here so then we can select everything here just create create form okay so one two and one two create home form so now we can uh, just hh so it's easier to to pick the point so what i want to do is just hh everything here so we can 
easy, easily play a uh, pick the point. So just make sure. So some of the points, see, it start from that point. So this one start from here. So this one start from there. This one start from here. So maybe I'll just flip these points so they all start from the uh, the end. Okay. So then we can select one, two, three, four. Type in one, and it, they will all. Oh, sorry. Looks like uh, I accidentally uh, select that point as well. So one. Two, three, four, and typing one, and they will all go to this end. And then this one, uh, yeah, good. This one maybe a flip, so close to this end, so we can use zero. So this one flip. So now one, two, two, three, and four. Type in zero. Now if I H R, so you will see that's it. And then. We can go to family types. Okay, so R2. So let's try maybe 500. Apply. Um, yeah. Maybe 350. Apply. Yeah. So I think it's it's roughly um, right. So I'm not sure if you can join them. I I don't think you can because because all the curve. Oh, good. Ah uh, no, see, some it, yeah it doesn't work when you have all the the yeah it doesn't work. Maybe just I'll oh, just can, cancel it. Control V. Sorry, Control Z. Um yeah I'll just leave it as it is. So now we can control. So we can add some formula for the R1 and R2 as well. So when you change the size, change the X, it also uh change the change the, the scale the whole you know family so what you can do is here so relative to three x three three meter so five it will be uh three divided by six so i'll just type in r x divided by six so same so this one looks like uh maybe x divided by nine so roughly yeah so apply and okay so now if you oops sorry if you change the x so and all the the radius will stay a relative relative uh to the x so okay so that's it and okay so um so that's it for today. Uh, if you have any question, please let me know. I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.